This is Game Tech Super Sham back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over Open Broadcaster Software, also known as OBS. Now, this thing is a free open source piece of software that you can use to record gameplay or just any footage on your computer. And you can do a lot of advanced things like recording your webcam along with it. So, I'm going to be using this to record my YouTube videos from now on, and it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you guys how to get started. Now ignore the little inception thing going on right there. But So the first step once you install it is to go into sources right here. And then right click and add a source. Now I've added a monitor capture because I want to capture the entire thing. But you can also do a window capture. So if I do monitor capture I can enter a name. Uh, don't change the name. I found it didn't really work for me when I changed the name. But then you get this thing. And then you can go ahead and you know change whatever options you want. But it just works fine when I press OK and I, I run with it and then you can click on uh, start recording and it will start recording your screen and you can also go into the settings to see the audio settings particularly which apply to me you can select which microphone and everything and you can also select your resolution that you want to record in and encoding is pretty useful for setting your bitrate by default it's at 1000 but I find it to be more it's better at 2000 or higher so yeah, those are your settings right there. And overall, I found this is a very, very advanced recording software. And more importantly, it records really, really nicely. Um, I'll compare. I'll show you some footage of uh, me doing the same thing with two different recorders, one with OBS and one with some other one that I've been using for the past few months. But the point is that OBS records very good footage, even on very low-quality hardware. Now, I'm running an i3 fourth generation with 6 gigs of RAM on this laptop. And as you can see, it's maintaining a good 20 to 25 frames per second at approximately the bitrate that I want it to maintain it at, and it's got zero dropped frames. So that's very good. And another thing I've noticed is that when you're actually doing things on your computer, it doesn't really slow it down at all. So I can, you know, scroll scroll how to geek, which is an awesome website by the way. You know, I can I can go ahead and click on a link here and I'm not really noticing very big slowdown and it records what I'm doing very nicely uh and it's it's not really so taxing on your system. And that's something that I really don't find with many bra many, many recorders. You can also use this to record to record and live stream to YouTube and Twitch, so that'll be really useful for gamers out there. But yeah, overall this thing is a beast. You can also go in here and add some uh, game capture, video capture device if you got if you got a card. You can also add image and text as a overlay, and you can also add your web webcam video uh, and a picture in picture live. So those things will obviously work better with more powerful computers, but you can still do that. And of course, there's no watermark, and this is just awesome. Like, the frame rate's high, the bit rate's high, you can customize everything, and best of all, it's free and open source. So I'll be showing you guys some footage, so you guys can compare with what I was using for the past few months and what OBS will be like, yeah. So as you can see, right now, I am recording with VSTC Free Video Recorder, which is another free, it's not open source, but it is a free video recorder. And it's it's not bad. Uh, it's again not very taxing on the system, but it is it is definitely slow. The frame rate's slower, the bit rate's lower, so it's not the best. Now I'm going to do the same thing in OBS, and again, very low uh, taxing. It's not really taxing on the computer, but I found it that the frame rate's always higher, the bit rate's always higher. It always just runs smoother, and it's better for the viewer when I'm using OBS as opposed to the other recording software options you've got on the market that are free, of course. See, that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to show you guys OBS. And as you can see here, it, it uh, by default saves your recordings in a videos folder. And as you can see, a three-minute video for 51, about 50 megabytes, that's awesome. So you can clearly see that the encoding, uh, just everything about this program works. And, and best of all, it's free and open source. So I'll have the links to download this in the description. But yeah, check this out, guys. I think it'll be really useful if you have a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel or anything like that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.